how are you? I'm good. I'm just happy it's working now. <laughs> Me too. It's taken a while. <laughs> um, so I'm Rita. I'm the creator of Living Up Magazine, and I'm so excited to talk to you today. Um, should we start off with you telling us a bit about yourself and what you do and everything like that? Okay. Well, I'm an artist. I love to draw and connect my work to ecofeminism as well as my spiritual beliefs and my witchcraft. And I just love talking to people and helping women and also basically everybody feel empowered about themselves and find their authenticity. I love that so much. That is amazing. Um, and on your page, you talk quite a bit about your spirituality. So I was wondering if you could just explain a bit about it and how you got into it. Well, I've I've got into it during the winter of 2020, actually. I was like, okay. I, was very, I was in a very dark place. And I kind of wanted to make sure that I, I want to learn more about myself as a person and also like find out like, who I am and learn more about how I can help heal myself. So I've been doing a lot of that. And when I found out like my birth charts and stuff, I started getting more into crystals and I've received a crystal rose quartz bracelet for my birthday. And that's really that's amazing. I know. And I looked up the meaning. <laughs> I wasn't really, I didn't really know that much about crystals. I know I felt like energy from them. So I yeah. kind of like researched that and I started like, becoming more into witchcraft but I didn't really get out there with my beliefs until October of 2020. Okay yeah that's so cool um and do you incorporate your spirituality like into your artwork? Yeah definitely I see in my back I don't know if you can see like right here like this is uh -huh. about like my growth as an artist like how I like become like how I started getting my voice out there and started like showcase my art to the world I was very shy and didn't like I, yeah, I, I, I felt like people were like critique I felt like people were critique my work and people were like your work is so nice so. yeah <laughs> that was actually one of our questions because I know it can be quite like scary getting into social media did you yeah. feel like any fear of judgment from people and like struggle to express yourself definitely I'll say for most of my life I've kind of learned I kind of became a chameleon to how people saw me like I'll become the version mm -hmm. of myself based off of how people perceive me and that damaged me as a person like mentally I yeah, felt unstable right. like I felt so unstable in my life to the point where I became very codependent on like materialistic things like I used mm -hmm. to like be more like I will like go do certain things like I'll like spend my money or like maybe like make myself look good rather than feel good just so I could come off as a cross that I'm put together when in reality I'm very like stressed out and yeah, yeah. <laughs> um and carrying on to that what advice would you give to people who like are afraid to let themselves shine through or don't really know like how to start becoming I'll, themselves I'll say just stop apologizing for who you are as a person and like what you believe like there's always going to be somebody who has something to say like rather whether they feel like it'll bother you, there'll always be that one person who just wants to get under your skin, but you just have to keep going, keep pushing. Like, for me, I've learned that being authentic also means to, like, be able to accept my fears and accept myself whole, rather, because I know I'm not perfect, and I feel like a big thing, like, society teaches you is that, oh, you have to come across as perfect, like, you need to look a certain way, to act a certain way, you need to have this. But at the end of the day, like, those are all, like, material things. Like, I feel like, being perfect is comes from like I don't even like the word perfect. I feel like being aligned with who you are as a person comes from yeah. and like healing yourself and knowing like what you like, what you don't like. Because as long as you yeah. as long as you like live life based on what you like and what you don't like and what you feel you sh it's good for you, you're gonna be happy. Like And also like um if you're happy with what you're doing, it shouldn't matter what other people are thinking yeah, as long as you're happy definitely. with how you are as yourself, you know? Yeah. Um, and I also wanted to ask, what advice would you give to people that are kind of starting their spiritual journey and, like, what are things they could kind of do to start getting into that whole kind of thing? Well, I will like, suggest, like, just learn more about yourself. Like, just don't be afraid to use your voice. Like, for me, I've always felt like I didn't have a voice most of my life. I was very, like, quiet and shy. But I've learned that, like, you have power and whether people see it, whether people want you to see it or not. Like, everybody has power whether you like are afraid of it or not but just start speaking about it start 
start getting yourself out there in the world like don't be it's it's okay to feel scared i mean i get scared when i do things all the time like don't be i get scared to post i was scared to post my first youtube video like oh my god uh, i was so scared <laughs> but you just have to do it like Fear is just a way of, it's like a test, like, fear is basically testing you, like, are you really trusting yourself, or are you afraid of yourself? Yeah. Like, that's, that's like, such a beautiful question. question. Yeah. Um, what else do I have? I wanted to ask, do you have, like, any objects or things to help you with your spirituality, like crystals or cards yeah. and things like that? I have a tarot deck. I don't use that often, but I use it when I really need, like, to feel present and aligned with myself like when I need like some guidance when I'm really like when I feel like it's just too much you know sometimes the work can be a little yeah. bit too much <laughs> but also I yeah. usually wear like crystal jewelry like right now I have on my tiger's eye which is one of my favorite yeah I've got an opal <laughs> oh wow I also have like yeah. amethyst and I got like but I got a bumblebee jasper necklace for my birthday oh my but, gosh yeah I used to have bracelets but they always broke and I never felt comfortable wearing the bracelets. Like, I don't know. For me, I just felt like it was a little bit. It was like a lot for me at that time. Like, mm -hmm. I'll probably start buying them again. But like, I kind of. Yeah. But they're break too. Like, they're break when I would be like outside. And I was like, maybe. Yeah, it's amazing. The energy's used up, <laughs> or maybe it's just the energy I'm around. I, I don't know. Yeah. It be. <laughs> um. So it also seems like you're a very busy person, like mm -hmm. managing all your things. Are you still in school? Um, I'm actually graduating high school next week. Oh my gosh, congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. Um, so I actually want to ask, like, how do you manage your time? Like, how do you have time to do school and do your art and your social media and, like, still have time to go out and do other things? Like, how do you have time for all of that? Um, I've learned to just be present in the moment and take your time. Like, for me, I used to just rush and just try to get everything out there, like content, video, reels. TikTok, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, and that checked yeah. me out. Like, I wasn't sleeping. I wasn't getting, like, enough sleep. I used to be very stressed out. Like, I wouldn't really – I'd go to sleep, but I wouldn't feel refreshed in the morning. I feel like I was repeating, like, a cycle. Like, I would tell myself, like, if I don't feel comfortable today, like, I'm not going to do it. Like, I learned to listen to my mm -hmm. intuition about things. Like, intuitively, like, if I know I, I, I can't do this today, I'm not going to force myself to do it. Like, I'm learning to, like, yeah. make more time for myself. Especially, it's getting nice yeah, out to learn more. It's difficult to, like, learn that, like, to start doing that. It's yeah. difficult. But I'm so glad you found a balance. And also, I absolutely love your outfits. They're so bright and, like, <laughs> unique. I just love them. And I really want to know, like, what is the inspiration behind them? And how did you kind of... Was it, like, difficult for you to kind of stop following the trends and just stepping into, like, your own style? It was difficult. I mean, I used to see it, like, I, people used to, like, make fun of me for the things I used to wear when I was younger. So I kind of stopped wearing things I would wear and just, like, conform. And I didn't like conforming because it put so much pressure on me, like. Yeah. It made me feel like I was, like, I don't like the word normal, but I felt like I was, like, to what society wanted me to be and I didn't want to be what society wanted me to be like I used to wear all black like last like literally like a year ago I used to wear like, all black all the time like, I used to wear crop tops and like I just hated it so much but I felt like in order to be accepted I had to wear what people were wearing and that just yeah. made me feel like that made me feel like I was losing my head like I like wearing vibrant yeah. colors and especially during like quarantine it's really helped me out like with like slowing down and finding myself and honestly like my wardrobe has done a whole 360 within a year it's crazy, <laughs> yeah, it's so crazy. It's crazy. <laughs> I, I just I know I love your style just your clothes and everything it's just like so beautiful um what other questions did I have written down here um oh yes so this is the last oh no I've got another question and that's do you ever struggle with like a creative block and if you do how do you get out of it um definitely I'll say um for me like I felt like if I feel like I have to force myself to create content or paint or mm -hmm. like film then I know like I shouldn't be doing it maybe it's like I feel like it's time for me to take time out for myself that day because I really yeah. like when you're just like taking time out for yourself and just relaxing like ideas and like ideas and like motivation would like naturally come like I get burnt out from time to time and so I've learned to manage my time wisely which is something I really struggled yeah. with a lot 
but I've learned that it, like when you just take time out for yourself like just smile and go outside like you don't have to like the world's not gonna end if you don't post that one video if you don't like <laughs> do that one thing like you're still gonna be <laughs> fine <laughs> yeah um uh, I also want to ask like do you have a certain amount like do you have like particular steps that you follow when you like you start a new piece of art like do you have a process that you have or kind of just like different every time it's different every time that makes For sense me, I just create I don't like I'm okay I was in, I was not a big fan of art class in high school and I just don't yeah. like having a whole process just to create something because my process is not the same as everybody else. Like, I don't sketch and then paint my sketch. I usually just paint. It's weird because, like, yeah. I'll paint and then I'll sketch up my idea for the painting after I paint it. It's kind of weird. I know it's so <laughs> weird. But, like, for me, it works because I get an idea of, like, yeah. what my story was. Like, after I create my piece, I get my story of what was my piece was about. Like, because okay, yeah. this took it's about, kind of like, this, took, like, you, then. this took, like, four months because I kept be painting over this part. <laughs> I kept be painting. I, love it. I just kept be painting it over and over and over again. It's still not finished. Like I didn't touch it, but like I just feel like art's never really finished. Like you're constantly changing. Like yeah. I don't you I for me, I know I'm finished with something when I put like the sealer over it to seal my paintings down. And I'm even scared to do that because I'm like, oh my gosh, what if I'm gonna like fix something again? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and do you have like your your art hanging around your room and things and do you ever like sell your artwork or is that kind of like um, not selling my artwork during the summer I plan on getting more into that because I've been busy and I finally get to relax because I'm graduating high school and in college it's good. Yeah, like, so yes, I'm just ready to like, start that new chapter of my life like I just been 18 oh, no, that's week like I'm gonna start selling my art more in like summer like I haven't been active in my art account that much and I've realized mm -hmm. that because some people are like I'm like oh are you selling I'm like oh my gosh like for me everything takes time you know like it'll get yeah. done but like I don't want to procrastinate to the point where it doesn't get done like I learned to like manage my time like ahead of like like I'll plan for like the week ahead of me, like next week. Like, I'll plan for like the next three days or four days, so I'm not mm. really stressed out. And then I always end up having extra free time, so I'm able to like do things for myself or like. Yeah, that's so good. Um, okay, this is our last question because I just want to keep the interview short. And if you could say one thing to like every single person in the world, what would it be? I know it's a bit difficult to think of on the spot, mm. but if you have something. just oh god it's hard um yeah i know just love everybody like mm -hmm. i know it's kind of like hard to really like i guess it's hard for, it's hard for people to like understand that but like when you're just spreading love like, you don't have to like the person i'm not saying like you don't have to like just send like unconditional love to people like, even if you don't like agree what they're doing just like just don't hate on somebody yeah. just because you don't like what they're wearing or what they're doing. Don't like you. There's no reason to comment that negative comment unless that's like, yeah, because I see that's a reflection of yourself. Like don't, there's no need to say something rude. Like learn to accept people, yeah. whether you like it or not, because at the end of the day, it's going to help you out so much. And it like, also if it's not your business, you shouldn't yeah. be so invested. In it. 